this is the fourth year that Sam is pushing up Art Garden. What's different about Art Garden this year is that the artists have all been chosen with a specific theme in mind, and the theme is imagination. We've worked very closely with all our artists, both local and international, to come up with works that look at how imagination can create diverse worlds and alternate realities. All eight artworks by local and international artists explore the ideas of dreams and perceptions and they show us that there can be fresh and new ways of looking at all the things around us. For example, in Julian Salot's Stella Cave, he's been inspired by the famous Lascaux Caves in France. So just for Art Garden, Julian will be creating similar patterns in our gallery just by using simple materials such as screws and thread. For Stéphane Blanquet's Glossy Dreams in Depths, Stefan understands that every child needs to conquer their fears and become heroes in their own adventures. He believes that all of us have had to go through this whole journey of overcoming our fears and therefore he has created this journey where all visitors are invited to go through, where mystery and uncertainty is at every corner. And what you think you saw might be real may not actually be so. This artwork is an assembly of 134 landscape boxes. It has been conceived in six months to understand, to represent and to interpret places that are familiar to everybody in Singapore. So this interpretation of the place, that is the concept, becomes the physical artifact, that is the box. So the box contains their ideas of the landscape they have researched. This process allows us to view an ordinary and everyday landscape as something that is uh, significant, that is unique. So through the process of interpreting something, they've actually given significance to the uh, ordinary you know, landscape. So what I find is very interesting is that although the process has been the same, you know, every student has followed a similar procedure, what they've come out with uh, is, uh, you know, very different works. So really, these boxes, they portray what is significant about the site. Each box holds the soul of the place. This is uh, quite an opportunity for me to paint with uh, these uh, 750 children. So what I did, uh, we started from the black board. I painted the white uh, canvas board into black color, and then we index it, and we number it, and we write uh, each child's name behind it. After I put it together, I used the white paint on this uh, black canvas. I draw a dot, and I may splash a line. The dot is symbolizing a congregation, or it's like a landmark or objects in our daily life. A line symbolizing a linkage, or it can be a boundary, or it can be symbolizing a road. And then so when the children have their individual board, so they can use different color, add to it, and, uh, or using different shapes, adding their own lines, own dot, or own plans, or some of the kids just let their imagination running wild. We want to let our younger generation, the children, know the importance of love. Because with love, then we can have a cultural society and we can have a racial harmony and we can live together peacefully and culturally and happily. Therefore, we chose the title, Love Revolves the World.